Hi everybody, it's Cookie Moon Arizona coming to you on February 14th, Valentine's Day. I'd like to wish all of you a very happy, loving Valentine's Day. What have I been doing this morning? Well, I have been waiting for a delivery from Amazon.com. I've been getting a lot of deliveries lately, mostly vitamins from various companies. And uh, I did get today a bottle of dry vitamin E. Whoop, there it is. Dry vitamin E. <laughs> I swear I don't know how to do this. How many videos have I been doing? I still don't know where the camera is. Okay, dry vitamin E. I got this because I don't have any vitamin E at all in my multi. I don't know why. I just don't have any in there. So I decided I probably should take some. And uh, this is uh, a fairly decent capsule. Not too big, easy to take. I got a, uh, I only got 200 IUs because um, I don't know how much to take, to be honest with you. And I thought, get a small dosage, dosage and take it two or three times a day. It should be enough until I know better what to do. Oddly enough, usually when I get a lot of things from Amazon, it's packaged pretty good. But this is what I got today. The box was totally totally destroyed. Look at it came like this. It was sitting on the wall of my patio in the back where the driveway is. I guess they UPS came and they didn't ring the bell because they didn't hear it. This bell on my garage it did not ring the bell. And it does say here and I think they do it on purpose because it says it on here. Uh carrier leave if no response. So they just leave it and take off. And this is what I got from Amazon. No tape. No packing slip, no return label, no invoice, no billing, no nothing. Just the contents, no bubble wrap. But I did get the contents of the uh, of, of what I ordered intact. I got the pills, you know, and I got... The other thing that I ordered was a vitamin dispenser. And, what I, and I looked around for quite a while and I found this one. And I, it was probably a little bit more pricey. Not as pricey as some of the real biggie, big ones, but I didn't mind being a little big. I got a seven-day pill organizer by Survive Vitamins. This is the, the cellophane that came wrapped in. And this is what it looks like. It, uh, can you see it okay without a glare? It's not too, you know, it, it's not too big. It fits very comfortably on my counter. I like that it had the days of the week on it. I like that you can take uh, it out from the top or you can take it out from the bottom. And depending upon how you want to arrange your days of the week, if you start out on the bottom, when you take out the bottom one to use for that day, all the other ones fall in place, but you get the next one and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And I like it. So I, I it's a little pricey, about $14.49 or something like that. And uh, then I, there was some shipping involved, so I don't know. But I paid about what, four or five dollars in shipping. But I liked it. And uh, the only disappointment I had outside of the box coming home busted up was the fact that the uh, the compartments are not as deep as I thought they would be. They're a little on the shallow side. Because we take, as bariatric patients, a lot of vitamins. I got this specifically for vitamins. And, um, and I like that it has uh, morning, noon, evening, and bed time on the top. So each compartment, you know, you know when to take your vitamins or your medication or whatever. And it has the days of the week on the front. And then also I like it because it has a little slide top and it notches each day. So, you, you know, you're not pulling it and the whole top comes off. Each day, um, you know, and see it has that little notch. And um, it's easy, you know, it's better than having to flip them like this and breaking nails and stuff. So anyway, not bad. Um, like I said, I just would like to have the uh, compartments a little deeper. I like that you could take it out of the uh, of the holder and you can take your daily pills with you. If you have to go out, take all your pills with you in this little easy breezy compartment. So um, just wanted to share that with you um, in case you're interested in something simple 
I got this. And I enjoy it. I, mean, I just got it today, but so far I enjoy it. And that's it, pretty much. Um, buy Survive Vitamins on Amazon.com, $14 in case you're interested. And that's about it. Uh, my uh, weight loss has been sufficient. I've been... Uh, so my pre-op diet started on the 9th of February and two weeks pre-op I lost 10 pounds and then this is my third week out from surgery and I've lost another 10 so it's a total of 20 pounds and uh, uh, it's pretty good I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I feel a lot better my joints feel a ton better I don't have the pain that I I've been I've been having for so long um, my clothes are fitting looser everything's working well bathroom wise everything's working well I'm doing very, very well in that department and um, food is good uh, I'm eating fish chicken um, I had some salmon the other day I um, had some uh, leftover turkey from Thanksgiving in the freezer I took that out with some turkey stuffing that had no breading in it it was just the mushrooms and, and uh, celery and onions and stuff like that so I took the turkey and a little bit of stuffing and I put it all like a casserole dish and I had a little bit of um, homemade gravy in the freezer a little jar and I took that and threw it on there just to moisten it up and I kind of baked that up and um, I had that last night with um, some a portion of uh, beets because they were soft and they're nutritional and I had beets and chicken casserole for dinner. I have uh, an egg for breakfast. I might just have a yogurt with some blueberries. Um, I'm not really taking too much protein drinks anymore. Um, I still have them and if I'm in the mood for one I'll, I'll whip it up. But I do use my Syntrex unflavored protein and I'll kind of put that in my coffee or my tea. So that, you, so that I'm getting some protein, you know, uh, uh, additional protein. I also still have my Isopure that I sip on from time to time. That's more protein, I think. Uh, calories, probably, doctor said he wants me on 800, even though I don't absorb everything I eat, being a DSer. He said, I want you to start out with 800. If, if you feel that you're really hungry, or feeling that you know that you need to eat more than he's eat a little bit more just make sure that it's protein food something soft uh, deli ham deli turkey uh, some cheese cottage cheese uh, cheese sticks you know the string cheese that stuff like that you guys know what to do I don't have to tell you so uh, anyway that's what I'm doing you know uh, but my calorie level is sometimes eight sometimes a little over eight but most of the time it's under seven <laughs> to be honest with you. I made some sugar-free pudding last night. I ate some of that. I have my sugar-free jello. Uh, if I want something at night to snack on, I have that. Um, if I don't eat much for dinner I, and I get hungry later on, I'll have um, a, a ham roll up with a little bit of cheese in it. I have one or two of those. And that's pretty much all I'm doing. And um, uh, walking a little bit you know I'm out and about during the day a lot so uh, if I'm in Target or Walmart or the grocery store I'm probably in there a good hour walking around and uh, I do have my treadmill here and I get on that every once in a while for about 10 or 15 minutes but um, anyway yeah so things are going well just wanted to pop in and give you a little update say happy Valentine's Day and share with you my pill organizer in case anybody's interested, Amazon.com. Bye.